Hey, today I'm working on a table saw and uh, gonna be putting this new uh, Diablo blade on it. And uh, unfortunately, uh, I don't have the correct tools to to take the blade off, so I'm gonna improvise and I'll show you how we do that. The very first thing I always do when I'm working on a table saw is make sure it's unplugged and stays unplugged. That's the first thing. Then uh, what I'm gonna do is I've got these little blocks of wood here and a C clamp. I'm gonna block, I'm gonna clamp onto the blade with uh, these blocks of wood, one on each side of the blade to hold it without damaging the, uh, the blade. And then I'm gonna use this adjustable wrench to go down in there and uh, loosen the, the nut on the arbor. So we'll get on that. Uh, they, normally they come with, uh, the table saws come with a thin metal specialty wrench set that holds the arbor and then there's one that holds that fits the nut but i got this saw used so i don't have all those tools but i'll show you how we're going to get around that so here's the saw i've got here's the diablo blade i'm going to put on first thing i'm going to do i've got the blade raised up as high as it'll go and i'm going to remove this guard here this one's nice it doesn't require any tools so i can see the the nuts down here what i'm going to do first is Put some wood on each side of the saw blade and put my C-clamp on here. I'm putting it on the back here. You, you might think it'd make more sense to do it up here, but there's a splitter uh, piece of metal up here and I'm using that to hold the uh, C-clamp up. But I could put it up on the front, either way it would work. It would work fine. So I've got the blade held pretty good. The, the, the wood is not in contact with the teeth. The teeth have a slight angle to them and I don't want to skew that in any way. So now I'm going to take the wrench here and adjust it. At first I open it up and I'm going to put it down in here on the nut and spin the wheel to take all the slack out of it. To close it up on the nut as much as I can. And I'm going to try to loosen it here. Where that thing has been on there. Okay, there we go. So now that it's broke free, it just spins right off. And there is a certain way the nut goes on. Whoop, drop that one. The nut has a flat spot on it that goes against the the, the washer. You wouldn't want to use the cone side on it. And then next comes this uh, cone-shaped washer, which uh, basically it spreads out the force of this nut onto a wider surface area of the blade. So you'd want that wide area against the blade, and then the, the nut would actually, the flat spot would ride on this smaller part of the washer here. It's like a, a cone shape there. And you can see the washer also has a cone shape. So now the, uh, should be able to lift this right out and remove my C-clamp. The old Diablo out of here. These are pretty good. I've used these before. So the, uh, the blade has a direction of rotation and it's marked with an arrow here. And on a, every tall, every table saw I've ever had, the, uh, it rotates toward the front and down toward the operator. And that's how this one is too. When you put the blade on, there's on the arbor, there's a, it goes on easily. And then there's a place where it gets a little larger at the end. It's stepped up to fit the diameter tightly. So you want to make sure you get it on that stepped up part. And then you can put the washer back in, you know, observing the correct orientation. And then the, the nut here. And I'll spin it on as much as I can by hand. And then I'm going to go back with my wood blocks. Again, making sure I don't contact the teeth.
I've got the blocks gripping the uh, blade pretty good. I'm gonna open the saw, the uh, wrench up a little bit and get it on that nut there. And then spin the wheel and take the slack out of it. And then pull it back. You can kind of feel it. Uh, it's good to move it back and forth, the, the wrench, and make sure you're getting all uh, the slack out of it so you, you've got a really tight grip on the nut. Doesn't need to be super tight. Uh, I've never heard of one of these blades coming off, or I've never even had one get loose, but if it's happened to you, I'd be interested to hear about it. I've, I've never heard of it happening. I think you'd probably get some kind of fair warning there was something going on. All right, now all I have to do is uh, put this guard back on here. I like the guard, it's pretty nice. I haven't used the saw yet, but I'm looking forward to trying it out, especially with this new blade. All right, so that's how you do it. That's how you improvise removing the old blade, installing a new one with just a couple of blocks, a C-clamp and a wrench.